In previous meeting, we have discussed pure sample t-test, and now we're going to discuss independent sample t-test and how to analyze it. Different with pure sample t-test, independent sample t-test is used to compare mean scores of two groups. So you have experimental group and control group. Both groups were given different treatment, then you will compare which group showing an optimal performance. For example, a teacher implements group discussion strategy in class A and think pair share strategy in class B. Then you can use independent sample t-test to measure is there any significant difference of those strategies applied. I have two classes in the example. Class A were treated by using group discussions and Class B were treated by using think per share strategy. You can copy the scores and open your SPSS. I use SPSS 16 or you can use another SPSS versions then paste the score. Go back to your data. Copy another scores. Open your SPSS, then paste again. After you copy all of the scores of class A, then in the second column of your SPSS, you are numbering class A by typing 1. When you finish numbering class A, then go back to your data. Now we're going to the second class, class B. You copy the scores of class B in your SPSS. Just like previous steps, now you are numbering class B by typing 2 for each scores. If you are done by numbering those two classes, then you can go to variable view. Rename the first column of your scores. Also the second column with your groups. You may change the decimal into zero. Now you can Click value column in the second line and you will see this view screen. And what you have to do first, type 1 in the value and class A in the label. If you're done, you can click add. Then OK. Just like in previous steps, now you can type 2 in the value and class B in the label. Then click Add. Now you can see that those classes, class A and class B, are in the box. Then you can click OK. If you go back to your data view in your SPSS, you will see this data have been changing. Then you can click Analyze in your upper taskbar and choose compare means then independent sample t-test when you see this view screen you can move the scores in the task variable and groups in the grouping variable you may also check divine group to make sure that you have correct numbering of those two groups then click continue 
and click OK. You will see this result of independent sample tetas. What you have to do first, make the alternative hypothesis and null hypothesis. First, the alternative hypothesis is there is difference of mean score between class A who got group discussion strategy and class B who got think per share strategy. The use of group discussion strategy and think per share strategy will show different students' achievement. The null hypothesis is there is not any difference of mean score between class A who got group discussion strategy and class B who got think per share strategy. So the use of group discussion strategy and think per share strategy will show similar students' achievement. Now we go back to independent sample TITAS result. You will see the accurate amount of the sample, which is 26 students of each class, class A and class B. The mean score of class A is 61.54, and the mean score of class B is 78.27. So, statistically, we can conclude that there is different mean score between class A and class B. Anyway, we can make deep analysis of independent sample tetas for the second table. I have two cases that you have to be considered in the second table. First, if the significant Levin's task of equality of variance is more than 0.05, it means the variance of the data between class A and class B is homogeneous. So, the independent sample t-test analysis will be focused on equal variance assumed. The second case is, if the significant Levine's task for equality of variance is less than 0.05, it means the data variance between class A and class B is heterogeneous. So, the independent sample t-test analysis will be focused on equal variances not assumed. Here the analysis of second table. The significant Levine's task for equality of variances is 0.008. It means it is less than 0.05. We can conclude that the variance of data between class A and class B is heterogeneous. Then you will analyze the equal variances not assumed. You may see the significant two-tailed value of the equal variances not assumed is 0, 0.000, which is uh, less than 0 0.05. So, based on those significant two-tailed value, we can assume that null hypothesis is rejected and alternative hypothesis is accepted. Therefore, we can say that there is a difference which is significant between mean score of class A and class B. It means that the use of group discussion strategy and think per share strategy will show different students' achievement. The additional information for all of you, if the significant two-tail value is more than 0.05, so the null hypothesis is accepted and the alternative hypothesis is rejected. Well, that's all about independent sample cheetahs analysis. Good luck for your exercise and I'll see you in the next discussion.